Okay, this is the uh, the Revere 48 16 projector, 16 millimeter projector, and it. Um, I'm going to show the reason I have it in this orientation is I wanted to show you what you need to do to, to re-roll um, the film after you're you're done. Once all on your take-up reel here. So what you're going to do is this is normally forward. Um, it, it's, this lever here moves to the front. That means you're you're the the unit's projecting in forward position. Um, and then when we go reverse, we're just going to go back. So we're going to push this towards the rear of the unit. Now, when it clicks like that, it's in uh, reverse. And essentially, it just changes um, which, which arm is spinning. Uh, forward, this one spins and this one's loose. And now this one's tight, it kind of locks in here. And it just moves, there's a central hub in here and it just moves which, uh, which where basically that drive goes. Does it go into this arm or this arm? And it's, it's a pretty simple design, actually. But you just take, it's very simple. I mean, you just take your, your film here and you just put it in, got the little bend here, you just put it in your bend here, okay, into the reel. And like I said, left hand's a little trickier for me. But I'm just going to do that and start it by hand a little bit. Um, so we're going to turn it on, just to motor, not lamp. Okay. And I have it, uh, I think it's, it's up as high as it goes. This is a variable speed projector, so it does that. This, this right here is your, essentially your clutch, okay. It's right now, it's in, you're in neutral. If you engage the clutch, it'll engage whichever direction this lever's at, okay, the front lever there. So, it's very simple, but I just wanted to show, because I don't have a camera on top here, but um, to show that. And, um, and by the way, while I'm here, I wanted to show, um, this is your oil spout right here. So you just put a few drops of oil every time you use it, you'll be fine, it'll work forever. Your framer's right here too, so you can frame your, your picture. Um, but other things up here I wanted to show while I had it on an angle. But anyway, w without further ado, let's rewind this, this puppy. So I just put the clutch in, and there she goes. Um, this is a seven inch reel, like I say, so it takes a couple minutes, but I mean, about a minute actually. If you timed it at this speed, it's probably a good, right at a minute I would say, full reel. Now remember when you're done, you're going to put it back into neutral because you don't want the thing flopping all around. But we'll wait for it to get there. It's coming really quick here. And we are almost off. And now we're off right now. So we'll turn that. And now we're back into neutral and you have your film. And by the way, this is a beautiful lens. This is a uh, um, an Ilex lens. Ilex lenses were made uh, to the highest. They're really precision made lenses. They're beautiful out of Rochester, New York. This, is happens, this lens happens to be uh, this is a 1.6, f1.6, so it's fairly bright for the, its day and age. Most of the lenses back then were like 2.0 lenses, so 1.6 is a little bit more. And it's the focus, it's a fixed focal length lens. So you find here where there's a, there's a little, your little tooth here, and then you line that up with this, and then it just goes right on, like that, snaps right on. And you may have to turn, around, turn it a little bit to find that spot, I just got kind of lucky there. Um, and I'm going to raise this up a little bit because we're really close to the base here, and that's back here. Okay, so if you turn it clockwise, if you can know, I don't know if you can see this in the video, it's actually gradually going up. And this is great if you need it to be an exact spot. There is a, uh, a little wing nut that actually tightens this um, for you, but it's, it's relatively loose and you can tighten it wherever exactly you want it. I'm going to leave it there for right now. It's about straight. And by the, incidentally, the case that this comes with, you want to make sure this is pretty level and square or else the case won't fit right. So you kind of always want to start there and then you can change it. So before we do anything, we'll, we'll, these come down. There's two little, um, these are basically the cap scan. Uh, um, they cinch the, the film, they hold the film against the, the uh, cap scan so that the teeth um, you know, will drive the film. And these are great, uh, you leave these open for threading and if for some reason, um, you wanted to, uh, you know, remove the film in mid, you know, mid film, like mid, uh, mid reel. And this little, this knob here, and that, see, that gives you your pressure. So once the film's, once you have everything threaded, you do that. But if you want to unthread it for any reason or rethread it or whatever, you, it unlocks the pressure. Um, and it's meant to be on an angle like that. So anyhow, so now it's fully open. Okay, everything's open. It's three things, bottom, top, and this is open. So now it's ready to accept the film. Um, but we're going to go here, 
come around. Okay, we're going to top the top of this right here. Okay, so we're top here. It's good. We're going to make our little loop here and just go in, in like that. And we're going to be on that side of the. So it's basically hugging the film, and we can put that. Just leave that there for now, so it doesn't come out. And you want to give yourself a little bit of a film loop here at the top. Um, and I'm just, just for now. I'm just just for right now. I'm just going to close this to keep it. This kind of just keeps it locked. Um, and just to hold it so that we can do the bottom. And it comes down here. We're going to go the same thing. We're going to go snug around. And we're just going to go like this. Like this. And in between these guys. Like that. So now you're, you're all set there. And there. So now this is locked. That was a little bit off. So it's locked now. Um, and then we put, put that down. And we are we're locked there. So and you want to give yourself a nice you know, good, maybe two inches or, or so, maybe even three inches of film loop on each side. This will probably uh, cinch up a little bit and this will stay. Um, and this can be adjusted, like I said, as we go. Um, as you thread, you, you're going to find probably, if you get some chattering and stuff like that, you're going to want to, um, you want to make adjustments there. All right, so we're going to put um, the leader. This is kind of the leader, sort of commercial film. So leader, we're just going to roll that to start him up. And there he is. So now we're going to turn this on and see where we are. And if there's some chatter, you can make adjustments. Again, everything's closed, everything was open. All these both are closed back, tight against the uh, cap scans. And then this guy, the, the film pressure plate is closed, okay? And you kind of see here, you kind of check, okay, you got everything's tight. And we'll see where we are. It, this may chatter, so we may have to make an adjustment or two. So we got this on. Okay, that's coming up there. And, um, and just note how everything's spinning here. You got everything tight, and that's how that goes. So here's what the image looks like projected, the projector working. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's a fixed focal length lens. Um, it's a, uh, it's a f1.6, so it's pretty bright. And, you know, again, I'll slow, do some slow motion here, or slower. Walking down the stairs really slow. And speed up. This movie's called Scat Cat. I think it's from the 40s. Yeah, they're great. It takes, they will take a full 7-inch reel. Um, it does come with its take-up reel, which is down here working, but I'll show that later. I'll crank it up again. And we'll come back down. Okay. In slow motion. Okay. Moving in between. All right. So this is your mo this is off motor lamp. So it's a three position switch. I'm leaving it in motor most of the time because it's just it's out of habit. It's a good habit to get into because you're always blowing air through the bulb. So if you ever had the, the lamp on, you never want to go from lamp on to totally off. You never ever ever want to do that. Especially on these older projectors that have the big bulbs in them. Um, you just don't ever want to do that. You always want to give the bulb enough time to cool down. I'm going to reiterate a couple things while this is running. Actually, we'll take it out of we'll take it out of gear, so it's a neutral. They call it a clutch, and that's what it does. So on off. But I wanted to show this too because you got right below the framer here. You have a, a point here where you really need a few drops of oil. I really like um, this oil here, um, and I'll put a link in the description um, for where to get this. It's great because it's just a tiny little pin, uh, and it really helps for lubricating. You know, all the you never want to you don't go inside the film path, but anything that rotates if it's got a hub, um, these not so much, but a lot of projectors have like C cl clips or whatever inside if you pull a panel off. And these are great to kind of get in between the anything that rotates, you want to and it's on a shaft, you want to keep it lubricated. And this is great, this is a synthetic, it's fully synthetic, it prevents rust, um, it penetrates, lubricates, zero friction, they call this. It's a good. This is the one I really recommend for doing, you know, anything from just, it's not made specifically for projectors, but it's really a, just for small items like this is really a, a good thing to have. So here is the, uh, here's your fast and slow uh, speed. It's a rheostat in here that, that basically um, it sends, you know, different amount of voltage to the, the motor, um, which drives everything in sync. So this just pulls straight out and as you can see, it's very clean inside. Um, this one's just spectacular. It's like like brand new, basically. It's got the mirror back here, and what that does, it helps reflect um, the the light, the, the the intensity of of the film and of the light, 
and it, it's uh, there's the aperture grill beyond the bulb. Um, two screws here that won't come out. Okay, so we're going to just put this up here. Oh yeah, by the way, so this is here. This is a um, that allows you to take the aperture grill out and clean it if you want to, which is neat. It's up here, um, and it just unscrews like a thumb screw. Can't rewind it when it's threaded. It won't let you do that. It just free. So you have to you have to take it out of the uh, film path here. Take it so it's free just here. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we'll start here. And we'll just you know just kind of reverse of how we threaded it, and we can start either with the film gate like that. Um, and it comes around, or we can, you know, do that. Just want to be gentle. You don't have to do, you know. And there you go. So it's very easy to, to do. And I leave these open just because if they're ready to be threaded again. You can close the film gate if you want. Probably not the worst idea uh, to do that. And um, so it's good to always lock this pin. By the way, as you saw, it gets wobbly if you don't. So I like to just keep it tight. Now it's nice and solid. Once you have it where you want it, projection-wise, um, you know, lock it, and then you're, you're good to go. But anyway, I'm going to put our lever back um, to reverse back here. Remember, we just talked about that. And then we're going to, I'm just going to, um, I want to put this in. And now we're rewinding mid-reel. So you don't have to wait for the reel to end, in other words, is my point. You know, you can, halfway through, you can do that, and you'll be fine. Um, take up reel. Okay, take up reel. A lot of the belt and house, I used to go like this and you put the case in. I have some of the videos on that. Um, this guy, um, I like to put him uh, the channel down just because uh, corrosion wise, I want to keep it nice. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter, but just slides right in here and pops down. There's a little channel for it. So this is where the original plug would have been for the cord that came with this. But again, you know, it would have been 80 years old. The, uh, the, the cable now is here, and it's something that I think works a lot better because um, it's a direct connection, it's a thicker cord. The only thing I see on here, just cosmetically, there's a couple of road rash spots. Um, there's a spot here that's just wear. I'm not sure what that wear is from. It could be from the, the cord just hanging there, uh, but it's nothing that, that impedes its performance. And don't forget, the most important thing about some of these older projectors is when they give you the oil filler um, little spots here for making sure you put some some good quality oil in here to keep all the bearings um, nice and lubricated because these will burn out over time. Okay, lastly, I just wanted to show this, the cover. Um, it's <laughs> pretty big cover, but it's plastic. Uh, it's like a, a plasticky kind of thing. It's probably right when they were making things out of plastic. It's, maybe it is a, a thin type. Well, I know the handle is definitely Bakelite because um, it matches the, the base on the projector, but I just wanted to show that it's in good shape. These always come off. This was a, this is adhesive. And this was this had a uh, a Revere logo, um, and it had what it was and everything. These always come off, but this it has metal reinforced corners, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you can see those, um, but it is really neat. And this one has all of the the uh, the class are intact. They all have um, you know they're all the springs all work on all three. This just goes over um, the unit, and it comes right down, and Voila, you're on. Now, the thing to note here is this, these, you want to line up your, your little tabs here with um, your clasp. So this back one, because there's a front one, so you know that it's going the right direction. Plus the, the hump on this is facing forward, always faces forward. So you're on and then you just, you know, clasp these and it's really that easy. But that's the end of the video and please like the video and subscribe to the channel to get more content. I try to do a projector video um, at least once a week, um, something new, and I always try to get more content. I have not just demo videos, but I'm going to be doing uh, overhaul videos and showing how to care for your projector, you know, belts and, and lubrication and things like that. So uh, stay tuned and there'll be a lot more different uh, projectors on here and different content. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.